Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On to today's episode, we are looking at the multinational companies that are currently located in Ghana. There may be many of those companies that are operating at the moment, but today we are looking at the top ones that are currently driving business in different areas. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Considering Ghana, it's been described in many circles as being peaceful, democratic, a gateway to Africa, great economic outlook, and also some of the most attributes that have been allocated to this particular African nation that has potentially given it a more positive outlook looking at investors moving to invest within the African continent. Those particular words have also had huge influences in terms of the minds of investors and also those different companies that are currently operating in Africa. But in this episode, here are the top companies that are currently operating in Ghana, which are multinational in terms of their scale and operation. Number one, Olam. Operating in 70 different countries, Olam has carved a niche for itself worldwide as a food and agricultural business company in the world. Olam International operates from seat to shelf, supplying industrial raw materials as well as food to over 23,000 customers worldwide. And it is one of the world's largest suppliers of cocoa beans and products, rice, cocoa, cotton, coffee, and also many more. The evolution of Olam from a single product is a single market to a multi-product, multinational agricultural business has been phenomenal since the establishment in 1989. The Ghana's chapter was established in 1994, some five years after the launch of the first company in Nigeria and has succeeded in export of cocoa and cashew cultivation by 140,000 farmers. In addition to the above, Olam imports rice and other grains and uzu have also invested uh, the production process of food production, notably biscuits and different product paste. It is also a major player in the Ghanaian business environment. Number two, Tulu Oil. Tulu Oil was founded in 1985 in Ireland. Tulu Oil has become a force to reckon with in the oil and gas industry and worldwide with over 150 licenses across 25 countries uh, with producing fields in different areas. Tulu largest activities are in Africa and Atlantic margins where it has discovered new oil providence and Uzu that speaks in Ghana, Uganda, Kenya, France, Guyana and different areas. In 2007, Tulu and its partners drilled two successful explorations well and averaged 770 kilometers uh, of uh, distances. Tulu Ghana has been listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange since 2011 and has worth of shares, millions of shares in there. So to point out, and in that case, this particular amazing company that operates as an international circus focuses more in Ghana and other regional markets uh, within the African continent. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Another very international company that is currently located in Ghana is Unilever. Unilever being Europe's seventh most valuable uh, company uh, did not come by surprise to so the point out. Uh, Unilever has worked so hard in over 85 years, you're looking at its existence, to take in the deserved post with a headquarters in London and both Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Unilever has extended its tentacles worldwide and has grown to become the giant that it is today. At around the world, it has over 100 and spends times in 190 countries. Unilever's uh, products, which include food and beverages, uh, cleaning agents, uh, beauty, and also uh, uh, different products um, that are currently being exported in different countries. The Ghana chapter was founded uh, in uh, that's around 1992 and they are still listed in Ghana Stock Exchange and are really doing great businesses in different areas. Unilever is behind some brands such as Lipton, No, Dove and Hellman, which are also scattered across Ghana. It does create employment in different areas across the Ghana's community. The next very international company that's located in Ghana is the KPMG. 
considering KPNG was formed by the merging and the business takeover of many astute accounting and auditing firms, it is one of the big four accounting firms in the world and offers professional services across 140 and engineered by over 220,000, so to point out, uh, employees. In Ghana, KPMG runs with approximately 500 employees, including 12 partners. Due to their professionalism and also passion for excellence, KPMG has built an uh, enviable reputation in Ghana and were recommended to audit the votes in uh, the, one of the high-profile elections that occurred in Ghana uh, that was uh, a few just recently as well, and also the Electoral Commission there. KPMG has been known for their reputation. As of 2019, during the banking crisis that occurred, KPMG staffs were appointed as administrators and also subsequently received licenses for some banks that were revoked KPNG remains one of the most prestigious auditing firms in the Republic of Ghana. If you are new here, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Another very international company that's currently present in Ghana is Total Petroleum. Total Petroleum basically need no much of, uh, of the publicity. Founded and headquartered in France since 1924, the Total Petroleum has grown tem tremendously and also therefore has so many subsidiaries worldwide and is counted among six super major oil companies in the world. Total has been ranked as world's fourth largest oil and gas company as well as a major integrated player in the global solar industry. Total has over 100,000 employees which makes energy uh, in the modern era well better than also in different services that it performs. Considering Total in Ghana, Total Petroleum Ghana has over has been over 60 years of experience operating in the Ghanaian market and owns over 230 retail outlets spread countrywide in Ghana. Born out of extensive research spanning a number of years, Total has introduced a range of products that reflects considerable aspects for both economic and also environmental benefits to the Ghanaian people. But it's always a challenge when this is concerned. Another company that is an international brand that is currently based in Ghana is Vodafone. This telecommunication giant is a public limited company founded over 28 years ago and has grown big through a series of mergers and also acquisition. Vodafone provides fixed line telephones, mobile phones, broadband, digital television, internet divisions as well and also protocol television, internet of things and in different ways. Vodafone is headquartered in England and has a worldwide reach and subsidiary partners in over 70 countries. Considering Vodafone in Ghana, the Ghanaian subsidiary Vodafone Ghana is the second ranked operator in terms of market share in the sector. It is the most awarded telecommunication company, having won close to 70 local international awards within the past four years. They have a deep sense of responsibility and also commitment to social development in Ghana. They, institute Ghana's, uh, they instituted Ghana's first medical core center uh, through their innovation TV program called Vodafone Healthline. Another very international company that's currently operates in Ghana, it's currently the Guinness. Considering Guinness' presence, they found the founded many years ago, it's almost very popular in every uh, drinking sport in Ghana. The dark touchy tasty beer continues to sell really well and also is well established beer brand. Guinness is not only popular in Ghana but worldwide, sold in over 120 countries and brewed in over 50 different countries. The first brewed in Ireland in 1759, Guinness is now headquartered in London and being brewed by Diageo and formed from a major of business brewing and Grand Metropolitan. Also, leisure in different ways. Guinness Ghana, considering its auto presence, the Guinness Ghana's brewed PLC is the Ghanaian's wing of Diageo and is listed on Ghana Stock Exchange. Guinness Ghana has brought some new innovation products like uh, Origin Zero and Origin Herbal Gin, as well as plastic package for Marto Guinness, uh, which is increasingly the dominion of the company's Ghana. 
If you are new to Edisplorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The last company, but not the least, uh, that established with an international company in Ghana is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola basically need no introduction. This global soft, food, soft drink brand has a very strong presence in Ghana, uh, thanks to various television commercials, uh, which it has always been. Moreover, there were a time in Ghana when there were very little soft drinks which were in the market. Coca-Cola solidified their brand presence in these days. To meet the growing need of the ever-changing market, Coca-Cola has brought various packaging which includes plastic bottles, mini-sized bottles, a sugar-free and also versions of the popular drink. Coca-Cola produces and sells products like Fanta, Sprite, which also are established in the Ghanaian market. Equatura Coca-Cola Bottling Company is the mother company which runs the Coca-Cola brand in 13 countries in the North and Western Africa. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you with regards to the international companies that are currently located in Ghana. These companies are also spread across other countries within the continent, but in this channel, we're focusing on those companies, major companies that are in Ghana and doing business. There are, however, other international companies that are in Ghana, but these particular top numbers were the ones that we consider to bring forward. Hopefully, we're able to inform you with regards to the international companies that are operating in Ghana, uh, which are attracted for businesses for different reasons, and we understand that there are different companies also operating in this amazing African country. Thanks very much for watching our channel. We're looking forward to meeting you soon. We encourage you to watch our other videos on the channel and please leave a comment. If you're working for any of those companies, we'd like to know what your comments are. If you've never worked in this company and you aspire to do so, please let us know in the comment section. For now, thank you and we're looking forward to meeting you again and have a good day. Bye-bye.